This lesson will demonstrate how to do timings. The purpose of timings is so that you can show your presentation without having to click on your mouse. So let's go ahead and set that up. The first thing you want to do is click on that first slide, choose slideshow, and then click on rehearse timings. The minute you click on rehearse timings, you want to start clicking your mouse. You want to give enough time per slide so that people can read and look at the images. So I'm going to go ahead and continue going through the presentation. Once you're done going through the timings, this little window will pop up. You want to take note of the seconds for your music. All right, so I'll go ahead and write those minutes and seconds down. Go ahead and click yes if you're happy with the timings. Once you've done the timings, you can go ahead and recheck it to make sure everything is great. One thing I want to demonstrate is if you want to view the slides differently, you go to view and we're going to choose normal. After you watch your presentation, you might decide, you know what, this slide may not have enough timings. So what you can do in that normal view mode is you can go to transitions and then you can change the time. So if it was too much time, you would reduce the seconds. You can do that on every slide if you need to. Some people will just round it off to the number of seconds and then determine how much music they need for their presentation. That's a possibility. This concludes the session on creating timings using PowerPoint 2010. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.